Hello, and welcome back to Tea with Tracy, coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we are going to continue on and actually complete our series on the community services here in Lake Orion. And today's topic is going to be the senior services. We have a whole organization dedicated to those individuals who are 50 and over and it's actually making me kind of excited to become 50. So without further ado, I have here joining me live in the studio is Chelsea Petrusha, who is one of the township's recreational programmers who specializes in the senior programming. So welcome to the program, Chelsea. Thank you for having me. I'm yeah. excited to be here. I'm excited to have you here. And this is kind of fun. This is the first time that I've had somebody live in studio with me. So it's kind of fun to be able to see you like in yeah. person, face to face. I feel so, so special. Yes, you are special. <laughs> <laughs> you do so much for our community. And so it's it's awesome to have you here. Yeah. So you've been with Orion Township for a couple of years now. You came from some other programming and decided to expand into the the 50 and over or senior community. And um, you do a lot of the programming for that that age category. I do, yes. So um, I actually started in recreation in um, youth. So okay. switched gears a little bit and went to older adults, uh, 50 and over, and it's just been so rewarding. I've loved every minute of it. It's That's been so fun. Awesome. I know when I stopped by um, a couple of weeks ago and we were talking about having you come on and join us, it was just so fun to see because obviously you get to know, you know, those that participate in the program and just seeing the rapport and the relationship. It's just, it's so awesome. Yeah. So. We have some regulars that come every day, so yeah. it's fun to chit chat with them. You really do learn to, um, learn about their life on a personal level. And it's, it's very rewarding. Yes. That's, I, I love that. That's one of the things that I love about what I do is because it's not just, it's not a transaction. It's not just, okay, like let's get you into a house. It's you develop the relationships and become friends with most people that I work with throughout the process. And it's just, it's just awesome. And then to see their, their lives and their families grow. And, um, so I'm sure it's, it's the same for you. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. There's some, we have some great members. So it makes yeah. it very fun. So now you say members. So is there something that needs to be done then to participate in in the services, the senior yeah. services? Yep. It's okay. very simple steps. Um, you just have to be put into our system mm -hmm. and then you become a member. It's completely free. Um, most members also then get a key fob. So then they have access to our building. Okay. If they're coming in for a certain program. Um, but you don't have to be a resident. It's resident, non-resident, all the same. It's all free. And then you can register for any of our 50 and over programs. Okay. So if you live in Orion and you have a friend who lives in Oxford mm -hmm. or Rochester or somewhere nearby and they want to participate as well, that is, it's completely open to everyone. Right. Yep. And we do, okay. um, residents sometimes get a, um, a different fee associated okay. because um, they are residents and they pay their, ta their taxes to the township. But it, as a non-resident, it's only usually like a couple dollars more okay. um, if it's a paid program. And if it's not, then it's free for everybody. Okay. That's yeah. awesome. And so you said you get a key fob and access to the building. Mm -hmm. So what would be something, I mean, are the events in the building or what are some of the reasons that a member would come to the building? Yeah. So um, a lot of our stuff is for like fitness. So we have Zumba, yoga, and then we also have a very popular um, exercise class called Silver Sneakers. Okay. Um, that one's very popular. And then other things like our clubs, so Mahjong, um, band, um, card club. I mean, there's the list is huge. Knitting, crochet. Oh my gosh. A lot of things. You need to open this up to just a little bit younger, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're rattling off all of these activities and like that sounds awesome. How do I how do I get to participate? Right, so, it makes yeah. everyone want to retire. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite there yet, but <laughs> oh, so there's lots of different activities for those who want to. It sounds like if you want to be active, or even if you just want to be able to relax and sit and yeah. play games and participate. Yeah, so a lot of our events are very um, dedicated to just being social. So as you get older, um, it's just very important that you maintain your social network and are able to talk to others. Um, many seniors are just left in their homes and don't go out and about. 
So a lot of my goal is just to create these programs where you can just sit and socialize, have lunch, have ice cream, anything really. Yeah. Um, and it just gets them out of the house, especially with COVID. Yeah. That was one of my main goals. Yep. Yeah. And I think so many of us actually can probably relate because of COVID and a lot of us being locked in our homes and feeling what that social isolation is like. It, mm -hmm. it definitely works on you. And yeah. I can see how, you know, it's very important, especially as we get older, because naturally when we're, you know, we're working and we have kids and going to school events and, you know, like there are things that keep us out and connected with people. But once those we're past some of those things, mm -hmm. you know, having yeah. something that can keep us connected with others in our community. It's yeah. so awesome that there's such a variety. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was so. important to me also because. A lot of these older members of our community were very scared as well. So just we this whole summer, the goal was to create just outdoor activities for them to be outside, feel safe, have something to do, have something on their calendar to look forward to. Um, and it worked really well. So it sounds like it. Yeah. And and it sounds like you have a really uh, big fall. You were showing me that there is not only we have the Orion Living Magazine, which is like kind of a compilation of all the activities and and things happening mm -hmm. within the township. And, um, but, but for the senior services, there's actually a full brochure and you said yes. that comes out monthly. Yes. So we so. moved it. It used to be bi-monthly. We moved it okay. to monthly after COVID because things were just so ever changing and they still are. I mean, things could change next month. Who knows? But, um, yeah, it's monthly. So it's broken up into special events, field trips, classes, clubs, exercise, and then just senior resources, so things that you can, um, if you need help with anything, there's so many things in Oakland County mm -hmm. that can help you. So um, it's that's also broken down in it as well. Okay, so field trips, that intrigues me. What type of field <laughs> trips do you go on? So actually this past Friday, we went and did the Diamond Jack River Boat Cruise downtown Detroit. Oh. So that was our first yeah. time back on a charter bus and we went downtown, very fun. It was really Fun to see everyone out and about. Um, for September, we're staying local again. We're going to do putt-putt golf and bowling. So Fun. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, see, now now these guests, if they can bring guests, do they still have to be 50 and old? <laughs> yes, sorry. I'm trying to find my way in. <laughs> yes, they do. I mean, we do have a couple of things where they can bring, like, their grandchildren sometimes. But, yeah, for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Not quite there yet. All right. Okay. Not, not quite there, but one day. <laughs> yes. Something to look forward to. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so what other things? You have field trips. You have different, mm -hmm. um, you have the games you have. Now in the building, so you said they can come and do fitness classes, but you were also mentioning that there's an extension of the library yes. here. Yes. So okay. we've had the library with us since this building's been open. Um, the Orient Center, if you've not been here, is a beautiful building and um, the lower level is pretty much dedicated to 50 and over. We have an exercise room, um, a game room, and then the library has its own branch where there's larger textbooks, um, computers to help you if you need anything printed or just need help on a website that you're just not familiar with, um, and magazines, all sorts of things. Okay. It's a great resource. Yeah. So if you are someone who doesn't have internet access or doesn't do a whole lot with computers mm -hmm. and there's something that you need to do on a computer, you can come to the, to the center and go into the library portion and get somebody to help you with that. Yep. Yep. Okay. So they are able to help you. A lot of the people just use the library to, to chat to okay. um, come down, read the paper, get some coffee and just be able to get out of the house. So we have a lot of those regulars that just come in every day and do that as well. Yeah. See, oh, these are goals, right? Th this is something to work towards. This is you work hard so that you can ha have this enjoyment. And right. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's it's great. Yeah. yeah. They're all very pretty much all happy because. Yeah. You're yeah. Tired. <laughs> absolutely. It sounds like it. I mean, you like yourself. your schedule is filled up with fun activities. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So what else? Is there anything else that we yeah, should know? Yeah, I was going to mention we also have Meals on Wheels here. Okay. Um, which isn't, not every community has that. So we get, um, if you're not familiar with Meals on Wheels, we um, send out meals to those that sign up. They just have to qualify. Okay. Um, and then we also have our congregate meals in the dining room. So 
you can come and have lunch every day and be able to socialize, not be sitting at home eating your lunch. You can yeah. come to the Orient Center. So we have a, a consistent group that also does that as okay. well. So we have a full kitchen um, and we get all of our meals from the OPC, which is in Rochester. They're the yep. main Meals on Wheels branch. So okay. that's also something that we have every single day. That is fantastic. So every day, like Monday through Friday, every day. Mm-hmm. And then those that need a meal on the weekends on Friday, they get two frozen meals Okay. for their lunches for okay. the weekend. Yeah, that's great. So if you can't make it in, you know, if you if you want the community, but there's times where you can't make it in, you can sign up and re- have a meal delivered to you. Yes, yep, so exactly. That is a great program. Yeah, especially so. for those that are just a little older. Um, maybe their family is very far away. Mm-hmm. They can't get out of the house. They're, you know, they don't drive anymore. Right. Um, it's very important that they eat. And yes. So that's Absolutely. a great service for our much older population. Yeah. Yes. And I was going to say, you know, like if something happened, like a couple of years ago, I broke my ankle. So it's tougher to get around mm-hmm. and do things. And I was thinking, well, okay, if you have an injury short term and you can't get out, but then I happened to think I had Noda on as well. So you could also mm-hmm. <laughs> have Noda pick you up and bring you yes, here yeah. for events and activities. Yeah. I don't think people realize how lucky we are. Noda is not something you see in every community. No. Um, and it is a huge blessing for Lake Orion and Oxford and all the other communities that it serves. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's so easy to apply and get be a rider. And they will literally take you anywhere in our area. It's They do field trips for us. It's a great service that we have. Oh, that is fantastic. It is great. Yes. For Orion, Oxford, and Addison Mm -hmm. residents. Um, So, yeah. So even if you're as far out as Addison and you want to participate in the Senior Center activities and you don't have a a means of getting there, you can Mm -hmm. get a ride through NOTA. Yeah, absolutely. We have a lot of regulars coming from Oxford down. So, yeah, it's a regular thing. A lot of people use it. That is great. So what's coming up this fall? What do you have Mm -hmm. coming up in the upcoming weeks here? So we got some special events. Um, One of our very popular events coming up next week is a Euchre tournament. Ooh. Yes. See, you Uh, know what, Chelsea, it's like you're just (laughs) dangling these in front of me. (laughs) And then uh, we always do our end of summer luau. Okay. That's going to be out at Friendship Park. We're going to have a steel drummer coming and entertaining the group. And then we're doing like pulled pork and the end of summer um, meal. And then um, we have, what else? Fall lunch. That's like going to kick off our fall with just chili and cor- cornbread. And that's going to be at Camp Agawam. Okay. If you haven't been out there. It's beautiful. Um, yep. Our, our group loves to go out there yes. under the pavilion. Um, another one is we do do the flu shot and shingles okay. in our, in our uh, Orient Center. So that's a really popular event. You can just come in and get it in our... See, now, building. I think it would be fun to get the flu shot if it's part of an event. <laughs> right? I know. <laughs> get exactly. to come out, socialize. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's quick, for the easy. Flu season. Yes. You're already here usually for something else. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. And so. then, um, I mean, we always have craft classes. That's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, we have a great group of um, usually ladies that will do a craft. So we have two of those a month. That's always okay. very popular. We're doing some fall crafts this time around. Nice. Um, I talked about the field trips. Yes. And then just our regular like exercise. I'm looking through our fall. Yeah. Uh, September I know. That's an extensive oh, brochure that you have there. Yeah. We, um, the Lake Orion Historical Society is going to be doing a Lake Orion chat. That is oh. something that we've done in the past that was super popular. Yes. So we'll be having that in September. So yeah, all the things. And it's on our website. You can come into the Orient Center and pick up a newsletter. Um, or they can come in out. and chat with you too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yes. So, Always chatting with me. Yeah. My office or my desk is right in the front for a reason. So yes. Always so. in chatting with everyone. (laughs) Yep. So if anybody has any questions or if you're interested, you can either go to the website and sign up or Mm -hmm. just stop in to the Orion Center, um, come in that middle entrance, the main entrance, and you are right in the front on the right-hand side. Yes. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, fantastic. Anything else? Did we miss anything? No, I'm trying to think. I was just going to say also just a lot of resources that the county offers we have in our book as well. I don't know if I mentioned that um, Oakland County has a ton of resources free too. So okay. if a senior just needs help with their home improvements, chores, um, snow blowing, leaf blowing, you know, all the things that come yeah. with just having a house still, yeah, um, I can usually get them in contact with someone okay. to help them out. So that those is, types of resources 
we have an attorney that we work with, um, podiatrist, Medicare. I mean, all the things that come when you when you retire. Yeah. Um, we try to have those resources for everybody. That's awesome. So if there's a resource that you need, if you are 50 and older, um, or you're just looking to connect and make new friends, mm-hmm. um, you definitely want to talk to Chelsea and get involved. I know I am just waiting. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yes. <laughs> I'm not even close. We but. are. I know. Yes. No. No. You have a young one. Yeah. No, you're a little yeah. so far I'm, away. I'm a little bit closer, but. <laughs> one so, day. One yes. Day. One day. <laughs> so, well, thank you so much for coming on and joining us today and sharing, um, you know, what's what's available to those um, within our community and the surrounding communities um, if you are 50 and older. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It was great to talk about it all. It's so fantastic to have you. Thank you so much, Chelsea. And thank you all for tuning in at Tea with Tracy. We'll see you next week.